Puppet really is the best Pokemon for the Purification Chamber. I've counted. I have five of them. Snagum Hideout really isn't the place to expect a lot of Shadow Pokemon. Maybe in the old days. Not here though. So before you even attempt to activate this part of the game, I would highly recommend you go and finish the first 30 battles of Mount Battle. The first three areas are pretty useful in getting TMs, and they allow you access to areas 4 through 10 as you fight through them in the future, which eventually will give you access to actually some really good TMs. I highly recommend it. I did it. I got Shockwave, Water Pulse, and some other thing I, that doesn't really matter, but Area 3 will significantly help you level your Pokemon, and it's going to prove useful later on when you need to train. Oh, these things are fucking useless. Yeah. Fuck you. I actually forgot that before I can even go to the Snagum hideout, I have to go through this entire... <laughs> Backstory slash cutscene. Look, like I actually have to go back to Dr. Cam and Co.'s house. And then they do this whole cutscene again. Ugh. For some reason, this place is slightly spookier than usual. Perhaps it's the fact that the aesthetics haven't changed and that it's constantly been under just thunderclouds, but no actual storm has happened. At least they address the fact that there are multiple burglars, but that the burglars are just me. Another thing is that if Chobin is always outside, when is he actually working? Questions, my friends. Questions. Also, his glasses suck dick. So when you're actually fighting Chobin, his team got a little better from last time. I mean, Gyarados is alright. Suncrum still sucks, as always. But, as you'll see in a moment, it does improve somewhat. Still nothing crazy. I'm gonna lay down some real shit to you, Chobin. Life sucks. You don't always get what you want. Sometimes, you lose. Sometimes, you win. But let me tell you, there's not always something you can do. You can't always go and rely on someone else to help you. You can't always not put in any effort and expect things to change. Sometimes you just have to move on and put in that effort. And getting into a giant robotic Groudon suit will certainly not solve any of your problems, Chobin. This team actually has changed. Slightly. I don't know how. He had zero time to train. But I guess he went downstairs, evolved his son, Kern. Revealed his son, Flora, obviously. Kept the same Gyarados, because he healed somewhere in between all this. But he actually caught two more Pokemon as well. Puppet really threw me off guard, Chobin. You really got me with that. This really is incredibly inconvenient. This room really serves no purpose other than to actually get one of the first rare candies in this game. And that you have to continue the story to go here. Just talk to Macon, grab the rare candy, get the fuck out of here. And like that, your scooter's done. Oh man. Dude, I totally forgot this even existed. And here we see our first peek into Harambe resurrected as a Cypher Admin. How does this even make sense? Tweet? <sighs> the most intimidating of all noises, the tweet.